the location we are visiting today is a, an old castle. Uh, the castle was built in 1876 by a guy named Franz Huger. Franz Huger was a rich uh, ship builder. Um, the building was used until he died. After he died, it was empty for quite a while. It then burned down. The family tried to rebuild it, as you can see later on. Um, but then it burned down again and again and again. It burned down uh, like eight times. But now they stopped rebuilding it, so somebody tried to uh, intentionally stop it from getting rebuilt. All right, let's go. <laughs> so we just arrived at the main building. So look, nature is already taking over. We have all these vines crawling up, up the building. It's just beautiful how, how nature always takes back. They call this place the coach house. The guy that built it was very rich and when you were rich you had your own transportation. Back then there weren't that many cars. Wow, look at the entrance gate. It is completely covered by vines. This entrance gate must be the main entrance where all the carriage, ca carriages came in this way. We can park them in the garages here. We're going around to the front where we can get in. Uh, the front is also the most beautiful part of this building. It has a nice large uh, facade which is built in a certain style. I don't know what the style was called back then, but you will see what I mean. So we just came up on the front of the building. The building uh, is surrounded by a lot of trees, as you can see. It's now summer. So, yeah, everything is growing up against the, the building and you can't see the full beauty of it. All right, uh, let's take a look inside. The door, there's nothing left of it. Wow, look at these stairs. There is nothing left of it here. Last time I came here, the, stair w the stairs weren't this destroyed. You, got, you, you could get up here, but the first part was already destroyed. But it's too dangerous to go up upstairs because this entire building is made out of wood. Well, not the walls, of course, but... Well... This is their living area. This arch in the center is just beautiful. It is a specific style. I don't know the name of the style, as I mentioned earlier, but the thing that I noticed is there is no window left. Every single window is either smashed or completely taken out. This is another piece of a living area where you have a, uh, a big fireplace I notice all these writings um, I see if you if you read them they're all satanic rituals you can see the up, upside down cross Take a look at this, this part of the building, there's nothing left of it. The whole first floor came down. There is a curtain uh, remaining, I think it's the only one left here. This was their kitchen, 
see all the, the tiles on the floor, most of them are chipped off. You can see some remaining over here. There are some appliances laying on the floor, but this thing is unrecognizable. This was another living area. This was an, this one is um, pretty large. It has a synced in kind of kind of design. See, there's a stairs. It goes a little down. And there's another room up there. This place had its own chapel. Uh, it's just outside of the main building. Um, we're going outside and looking for the chapel now. This is the chapel. You can see the bells up there. There is a hole in the roof. Wow. You see, this thing is completely destroyed. A lot of satanic rituals are written on the walls. That's it for this location. This place was really uh, destroyed. It has been uh, sitting there for uh, quite a while. So a lot of vandals came there. Thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next video.